Microsoft Office's Scrapbook feature enables you to save passages of text, pictures, and other content within Office so you can use it again and again. The Scrapbook is shared throughout Office, so you can access any Scrapbook content from any Office application. Now, some people confuse the Scrapbook with the Clipboard, which I discussed in the previous video. They're similar, but different. The Clipboard is a feature of Mac OS that can hold only one copied or cut item at a time and make it available throughout Mac OS. The Scrapbook is a Microsoft Office feature that can hold any number of items for as long as you like and make it available throughout Office applications. Now let's take a look at how the Scrapbook works. We need to start by displaying the Scrapbook, which is part of the toolbox. As you might expect, there are a few ways to do this. For now, just choose View, Scrapbook. Now the Scrapbook starts out empty like this. If your Scrapbook has items in it, that's because you or someone else has already stored items there. We'll add some text to the Scrapbook. This will be some boilerplate text that we'll use again and again in documents. I'm going to select the last paragraph of text in my document. So I'll scroll down and I'll triple click in this paragraph to select it. And then what I need to do is click the Add button on the Scrapbook. After a moment, a thumbnail of the text appears, along with some information about the text clipping. For example, you can see what file it came from, when it was added, and how large it is. You can even click a link to open the original file. Of course, this is the original file right here. Now let's add another scrapbook item using a different technique. I'm going to select the signature here at the bottom of the document. I've just clicked once to select it. And I'll tell you more about working with images later in the course. This time with my mouse pointer inside the selected item, I'm going to drag it to the scrapbook window. When this little box gets in the window and the border of the window turns color, I can release the mouse button and it's pasted into the scrapbook window. Now you can also add an item to the scrapbook from a file. If you click the Add menu here, you notice there's a little triangle here. If you click that, it displays a menu. And what we want to do here is choose Add File. What that does is it opens up the Choose a File window and then we can use this window to get to the document that we want. So you can go into the Images folder in the Exercises file, and you can choose an image from here. The one we want is called Logo PNG, so I'll select it. That's a preview of it. And when I click Choose, it gets pasted into the scrapbook. Now once an item is in the scrapbook, you can use it in a Word document. Just position your mouse pointer where you want the item to appear and paste it in. So maybe I'll start a new document with the boilerplate text I added to the scrapbook. I'll create a new document by choosing File, New Blank Document. My insertion point is right here. That's where I want to paste the text. I'll go into the scrapbook, select the item I want to paste, and click the Paste button. And that pastes the text in. You'll also see that there's a Paste Options button, which you can use to select formatting options. For now, we're just going to ignore that. I should point out here that the Paste button is also a menu, so you can also select options when you paste things in. And of course, the options that appear here depend on the item selected. So you can either just paste it like we did, or if there was some formatting involved and you wanted to strip that out, you could paste it as plain text. And of course, if it's a picture, you'd be able to paste it as a picture. Now, if you decide that you never want to use a scrapbook item again, you can delete it. Just select the item you want to delete and either click the Delete button or press Delete. So maybe we don't want to use this text anymore ever again. I'll select it. And I can either press the Delete key on the keyboard or click the Delete button. Microsoft Office warns you clippings will be permanently deleted. We do want to delete that. Now notice it's been deleted from the scrapbook, but it remains in the document. It's not going to change it in any document. It'll still stay there. The scrapbook also has some features to help you organize and find scrapbook items. And that's what these items at the top of the window and also here at the bottom, the Organize area, that's what that's all about. And I'll let you explore that on your own. These options are most useful if you have a lot of scrapbook items and you use the scrapbook feature frequently. So as you can see, the scrapbook is a great feature for storing text, graphics, and other elements that you use again and again in your Word documents. With a little imagination, it can help you be more productive as you work with Microsoft Word and with the other Office applications.